Steve Lee, first of all, welcome to Wayfield. Uh, I know the board are delighted to have you. I'm sure the fans are as well. Um, you guys guided Shybutt to promotion last year uh, and obviously had a great start to the season with Clay Cross this year. Uh, how did the move to Wayfield come about and what attracted you to the club? Um, obviously, um, we saw the junior uh, at Leicester Club. Uh, we received a, you know, a number of calls um, from you know, the committee and, and chairman and it was something that, that you know, both of us were really um, keen to discuss further. And um, they wanted to make sure that we did things right with Clay Cross because they'd been good to us. So we made sure that the approach went through correctly. Um, but I mean, fundamentally, this is a massive club. You know, I think saw at weekend though, I think they had four hundred and six there, and there are you know we've we've been on a little bit of a, a, a sort of middle of the road run. Um, this club's massive, uh, great support. We saw that when we played um, you guys in uh, the playoff semi final at Parkgate. You know. Uh, loads of fans turned up, loads of noise, supported the club, um, you, you know, even when, you know, result weren't going your way that day. So you could see the potential of the club. You speak to, um, again, the committee and everybody else and the chairman, and you know that um, fundamentally, you know, they want to be moving through the leagues. And me and Lee's got to a point in his career, as I think we probably both both agree that, you know, we'd like to push on, we'd like to test ourselves. Um, they've had a couple of good years, you know, we're Ryan at, at Shirebrook and then, and then obviously he's, he's bounced across to play cross. But um, now we feel like it's the right time to, to probably break that, uh, that that partnership up a little bit um, and we're ready to go. You're right. Awesome. Uh, obviously you spoke about Lee. Uh, he was got a long-standing relationship with Lee. Can you just talk us through that? Uh, and obviously the clubs that you've been uh, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know how many years, it might be five or six. Um, um, sort of Dave Winter. And myself were at Ollerton. We were looking for a third wheel. Um, Lee was put forward by a number of players in terms of, you know, we're different. We, you know, we understand the game, and as you need a little bit of, you need a little bit of um, different personalities, different behaviours in there. And we were told about Lee is a little bit more no nonsense. He comes from a defending background, whereas me and David Tan were sort of more forward thinking uh, players, and we probably took that into games. And we needed somebody to give us a bit more structure. Um, and Lee did that he's come in and, and I'll be dead honest I mean I've just been speaking to, to Ian who's part of the management team as well and um, big thing for me is, is trust massively and trust him you know uh, Lee's not a yes man um, I'm not a yes man and there's times where we you know we, we look at it and we, we'll, we'll fall out about certain things but what Lee will do is he'll always be open and honest with me he's always got me back and I've never ever witnessed him sort of even if he don't believe in it and he's told me that I don't believe in that shape or I'd pick this or I'd do that but he's always 100% with me at changing room. He's always 100% with it, with our lads. Um, and he's got back and that's massive for me. And um, he's been there from thick to the thin. And he's helped me out. We talk every day. Um, I always get a call at 48 every single <laughs> <hour. laughs> Um But Gary, yeah, like I say, he's a, he's, a great, he's a great ally for me. So um, I'm, more than, I'm more than happy. And I wouldn't have done it if Lee, Lee and, uh, wanted to do, uh, do the move as well. Also, um, Lee, this was for you, mate. Uh, first training session with the lads. Yes, I know you've coached a few of them, but um, can you just talk us who you've coached and you know about and things like that? Yeah, well, we, we, we always know quite a few things, Lance, and yeah, and he's always asking, are they? And that was very good. Well, so we've, we've worked with a few lads before. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting to know the lads that we don't know as well. Uh, they must be this club for easy. They must be good players. You know, we've watched some to your footage on them, so we know what they're about. I mean, it's our job now to, to, to put some structure in place. Uh, so we get the full potential out of his football Chris Coyers awesome uh, we've obviously experienced two very different styles of football with you know beginning of the season we had junior style and the last two games we had Ian style what from the way for fans I'd expect from a team coach by yourself I think uh, what we look for in Paul's is a structure and a way of playing that all players other than the order of the star you know, on the bench and they can fit it to uh, and obviously might have had some things that were working for, but we just get into probably the last three years with people in the fifteen of the shot that do work. And that's what you're gonna to look to read. Yeah. Uh, and that's a way of players, you know, the aggressive on the full full style of play. Uh, you know, the more players that want to win. Not only just good technical players, but you know, the world to win. And that five desire that you know, the clubs are fans in it. We all want to see on a Saturday afternoon. You know, I mean there's you, you know, you look at it again, 406 people here at, at the weekend, you know, and they're, and they're standing there and it's cold and we just want to make sure that the desire that the fans are putting in, we're replicating and the fans and, and the lads are replicating 
uh, good intensity team. And he's, he's dead right, you know, sometimes get teams and or, or managers and the the four three three or the three five two like that's not us. We just you know the players dictate the formation. Um we're here to win. We want to win. And you know, even if it's a friendly game the bad meeting when we or a game of Paul or whatever, you know, like we both want to beat each other. And we, we and you know, you look at the side who have been successful, you know, you shard ropes and you Paul Gates and Beverly last year. You know, they probably weren't the most technical teams in the league. I think Wakefield were the most technical team, but what they had probably over Wakefield at the time was a little bit of experience, a little bit of will to win, a little bit of mental toughness, and that's what we're hoping to to bring to this talented group of players. Perfect. Obviously, first game in charge on Sunday is uh, FA Vaz against North Fields. Obviously, we want to win out of that one, but what else are you expecting from that game, sort of from the players? So, uh, we'd probably be... Uh, in terms of, you know, lots of different bits and pieces. We want to be competitive from day one. We think we've got a, a good pool of players. I know we um, turned up tonight and I know we've you know, just been informed we've got a couple of players missing and we've got quite a lot of injuries, but we want to put performance off where the fans can go away and say, do you know, if, if nothing nothing else is that we're an odd working team, we do, we'll demand a lot out of the lads. We want, you know, a lot of word rate. Um, we want to be competitive. We want to see what they've got. We want to see if they want to be here. Um, I'm sure they do. Um, but yeah, we want to put his DNA on it pretty pretty quickly. Um, and look, it's not going to be an easy game. They're a good side. They're above us. Um, but you know, we don't do excuses. Um, it's about performing. It's about doing what's right for you know your teammates. Um, and uh, we short lads will be up there. And, and I can't wait actually to be at the ground and we've witnessed it a few times. And look, five is we're looking for a big crowd. So um, yeah, I can't wait. If I'm honest, I'm buzzing. Awesome. And final thing, a little message to fans ahead of Sunday's game. I kicked it out. Just with me, we're going to come in there. We're going to try as best to, to get the, the win on Sunday. Uh, and then, you know, main forwards of the squad, get them on, on our side and get them playing the way we want to play. And, mm-hmm. and hopefully the fans will see that they've got 11, 15 players mm-hmm. working the socks off every weekend to get take on to win. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we've got to give everything. We're going to be 100% committed to this. Um, you know, we are starting a little bit behind the curve in terms of where, where we should be in terms of league. But, you know, there's plenty of games a set ball left and we're gonna make sure that we're you know, the um, the backroom staff, the committee, the chairman are all, you know, supportive as us and what we want to do and what we need to do. But it's not like the drastic changes, we genuinely believe we've got the players to do it. Maybe add one or two, um, which is the which is the norm, but we can't wait to get stuck in. It's a top top club and uh, we'll do everything that we can to get this uh, this team promoted this year.